I think I can make a poker chip in 24 hours. Paulson does it. I think I can do it. You think about a poker chip, it's pretty simple. They're just little stubby cylinders. That's all it is, a stubby cylinder. And we're gonna use a lot of science and math and figure out what goes into making a poker chip. Am I so glad to be back here. We're starting season three. Can you believe it's been this long? This is what, our third year chasing poker chips. And I still feel like such an amateur. There's so much I need to learn. So what are we looking at here? To start the season out, we're gonna start with some Marion Pro Poker 100% plastic playing cards made in Taiwan blue. Lovely playing cards, I love these cards. Now, ultimately, this is a poker chip channel. So let's look at the poker chips. Some Horseshoe Cincinnati's here. This is a uh, Rest in Peace Horseshoe Cincinnati Memorial set. This casino is no longer there as the Horseshoe Cincinnati. It's there as the Jack Casino Cincinnati. So be sure you go check that out. Uh, it used to be famous for PLO. Don't know if it still is. I do not l live in Ohio anymore. So this is an Old West Poker Supply matching dealer button. Not sure if they still have them. Look in the description for links to all of this stuff. If there's no link, then I don't know where you can find it. And I've just removed the link and the description. I'm not even sure if these are still available at the making of this video, but you can go check it out. Every time I think of Raz, I think of like candy for some reason, like those pop candies. Anyway, Raz is a seven card stud variant where it's low ball. So you want your lowest cards that are not paired Straight flushes don't count, so you're just looking for a wheel, basically. Pretty straightforward. So with any seven card stud, you're gonna throw in a little Andy. I'm not gonna explain the game. If you have questions, just look it up. Or maybe you can even write a comment, people will answer it. Deal yourself a hand, we'll see how you do. Right now I don't have the bring in. Is that the high card? Well, I'm the only one playing, so I have the bring in. You know what, I'm gonna put a chip protector. Ooh, look at this candy. I always think of candy when you play Raz. Listen to the rapper. Ooh, makes me hungry just listening to it, all right. So the bring-in is one. I'm not, I don't have the bring-in. I'm just going to complete here, pretending that it goes around, cycles around, whatever. And now we're on 4th Street. Lovely. Small bet. 5th Street. We move to the big bet. 6th Street. Same thing. Big bet. I haven't even looked at my... <laughs> I don't even know what I have under my fabulous Kit Kat right here. And finally, the last card is dealt face down. All right, so all the viewers at home, we're obviously not playing for anything. Not even the Kit Kat, that's mine. I'm eating this, I need a snack. I need a late night snack here. So, what do you have? Oh, that's not a good sign. 10, did we do the last betting cycle? I don't even know. I don't even know if we did that, but we should. Oh no! Yeah, I'm sitting on a 10 hand right here. Not good. There I go, can you beat a 10? Probably. Good for you. Congratulations. My boy beats me in this game all the time. He loves it. He always is just like, poker daddy, poker? I'm slithering you, daddy. You are, all right. You're doing great. And after some surprising research and maths, I came up with the perfect formula for our homemade custom poker chip. When we're doing this season, we're gonna change a few things. Number one, the episodes are gonna be a combination of several video segments. Those segments may or may not be broken out into separate standalone videos throughout the week. So the PCR in particular is gonna be the Poker Chip Review late, released later in the week, probably the custom series and a few other series that we're going to have as well. So be sure you subscribe. It's free. Just subscribe and you'll get updates as to when I upload new videos. Easy to do. You can also support us on Patreon. And there are some other things that we're changing with the reviews. So with one thing that's always interested me is how to show the difference in static coefficient of friction. I've decided to just use an angle. So all we're going to do is take these chips, put one on top of the other, angle it. And then once they slide apart, we're going to take that angle and compare that to other chips. And that translates to how the chips feel, how they splash, how all, and all sorts of interesting things. You're gonna see some different things and we've kind of simplified the poker chip re 
view. And we're not just doing stock poker chips either. We're going to do casino chips, obsolete sets, sets that are no longer produced, as well as stock poker chips, custom poker chips. We're going to start covering a wider variety of chips in the series, and I'm pretty excited about it. Now, that said, let's dive in to this review. Welcome to the PCR, the poker chip review of the Escona by Sunfly Hybrid Ceramics. You can look at some information right here. It's a 39 millimeter chip and one of the new bits of information I want to discuss is the static coefficient of friction. So as we angled these over, they slid apart at about 26 degrees, which puts them right at the mean of our testing so far for all chips across the board, everything from metal slug chips all the way up to high-end pulsons, we have some very reasonable chips when it comes to static coefficient of friction. They're not too slippery and they're not too sticky. So pretty interesting how that works. Now, the first thing that we always talk about is quality control. The quality control on these is very good, which is saying a lot compared to other ceramics. Um, ceramics generally have a very high standard of quality and these are no exception. Uh, looking at some things here real quick, looking at the centering of the edge spots right here, you can see there's a little, they're a little bit off. They're not perfect. Remember they're poker chips, so you're gonna have hundreds of these. The labels are all very, very close to centered, near perfect, and the Face printing is also very, very near perfect. So I would rate these slightly above average when it comes to quality control. Color rendering, everything seems very, very consistent. Weight, width, thickness, all of that, exactly what you'd expect. So no complaints about quality. Let's talk about design. Now, we're going to have to sort these out in a numeric order because there's somebody who is obsessive compulsive, who needs to see these in numeric order. And it's always funny how pedantic people are. You're talking to somebody conversationally and be like, oh, I'm so, I'm so OCD. And they're like, you're so OCD. And that means you're so obsessive compulsive disorder. You're not a disorder. It's not, you're just like, oh my gosh, I was being conversational. Why don't you just shut up? So I guess technically you'd say, I'm so OC if you're being really pedantic. Thanks a lot. All right. 500, 1000. Um, earlier today, I took a picture of the 500 mixed in with the 10,000s just to see how clear it is that that's a 500, not a 10,000. Are those going to be in play together? Mm, I don't know. If, uh, we're looking for the 5,000. The 10,000 is just really lovely royal, maybe not royal, but a rich purple color. 100,000, 25,000, 50,000, and the 25,000 right there. There you go. Look at these large denominations. Lovely tournament set right here. Is that beautiful or what? Is John going to complain about the colors? He always complains about the colors. But today is no different. The 100. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's look at some 100s. Hmm. This is a really rich black. This is a nice, rich, solid black. This is a rich, solid black. Hmm. I wonder which one of these kids is doing her own thing. His, her, whatever, own thing. Hmm. One of them. I wonder why they just didn't make it black with white embellishments. Come on. That's all we ask for. Is that too much? I'm sure if you call them up, they would probably customize something for you specifically. Now, talking about edge spots is one of the most important things about design for me, especially with a ceramic. These edge spots are on the edge of the chip and not the face. Thank you. There are so many chips that try to mimic a mineral clay chip, right? Where the clay is inserted into gaps that are cut into the chip and then they're compressed, right? And so obviously they go from one face through the edge to the other and you can see it right there all the way across. Ceramics, when they try to mimic this, uh, just it really bothers me. It's not a clay mineral chip, it's a ceramic chip. So there's nothing removed here, it's just they use dye sublimation and put this color on this blank and look at this. It just looks horrendous in my opinion. Hmm. Oh look, it doesn't go through. Oh look, it doesn't line up. Oh look, this one's not even close to being lined up. Oh well, if you pay for edge spot alignment, yeah, really? Get out of here. Not going to do it. Okay, so the Ascona, it's like it doesn't have an identity crisis. It knows, hey, we're hybrid ceramics. We're going to act like hybrid ceramics. Edge spots, clean. Design, clean. Look at this. 
It's a very clean, clear design. No denominations, specific denominations, so no dollar or euro or anything like that. Glossy label you can see right here. So I have very few complaints about this. Uh, overall, I would rate these very highly. Now, that leads us to purchasing the chips. You go to their website and you think, hey, look, there are some reviews. So you read the reviews and then you realize, oh, these are written a minute apart. They're all about the same length with very similar verbiage. Hmm, sounds awfully contrived to me. But I'm not going to judge these chips based off of those written reviews. I'm going to base my review off the merits of the chip itself. And the chips themselves are very clean, very good, very nice. When you're ordering them, everything looks fine. The price seems reasonable. And then you see shipping and it's like, oh my goodness, where did that come from? Well, they're shipping overseas, especially here in the United States. Shipping is going to be kind of costly. So brace yourself if you're looking at buying a set of these. As far as I'm concerned, highly recommended. If you want to get some hybrid ceramics, these are a great option. A stock option, a great option. Now, let's do a quick little sound test here. Let me see what we have. For this sound test, we have Paulson Casino chips. We have some Metal Slug ABS Monte Carlo chips. We have some Nevada Jack ceramics. It's always good to compare a ceramic hybrid to a ceramic. And let's do Bud Jones and classic poker chips. All right, am I missing anything that anybody's really desperate to hear? Well, since I don't hear any complaints, I'm just going to proceed with the sound test here. All right, so we're doing a real casino chip versus the Escona hybrids. I just spilled everywhere. Interesting. ABS metal insert chips. Classic poker chips. These are the Atlantic Club Hot Stamp Stock Poker Chips from Classic Poker Chips. Casino Chips, Bud Jones variety. And finally, some ceramics. A little difference there. I hope this review was helpful. The Escona Ceramic Hybrids, lovely chip. I can recommend these. Definitely get a sample set. Uh, if you can't find a sample set at a reasonable price, uh, sometimes checking eBay is just the best bet. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby. And here we are, 20 hours later. It's been one day, and I want you to just envision the most perfect custom poker chip with all the hand detailing you would expect. The mold is right here. We're gonna tear this open right now and see how it looks. Welcome to Casino Chips, where we just introduce some interesting casino chips for use or collection. Today we're talking about the lovely Horseshoe Cleveland Poker Chips. Let's start with the one. Start with the obvious here. This is a top hat and cane mold. You can see the little ring around the outside here. There are three one quarter inch edge spots. The inlay is glossy with a faux shaped inlay printed on here. And that lovely golden, bright golden, brilliant, Horseshoe printed right there, $1 chip, just a lovely, clean top hat and cane mold. When we move to the five, there's a difference in the mold. They move from the top hat and cane mold to the reverse hat and cane mold, known as the RHC mold. Same thing, glossy, faux-shaped inlay. The edge spots are double, one-eighth inch edge spots, repeated three times. The 25, is on the same reverse hat and cane mold, faux shaped inlay, six edge spots, one quarter inch with dual colors. Lovely chips. One of the nice things about these chips are that they are, and you'll find them on eBay or the forums, in mass. You can buy actual playable sets of these chips, and there's your Paulson set right there. That's one of the reasons why these are so interesting, is because they're a recent addition to playable casino sets. And as you know, the Horseshoe Cleveland was purchased by Jack Entertainment and is now the Jack Casino. Thank you so much for watching. And I present to you the most exquisite homemade poker chip 
ever made right here in the John Hobby household. Now, <laughs> when my four-year-old saw this, he's not a poker chip expert. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But the first thing he said was, poopy, daddy, poopy. <laughs> oh, little does he know the bounds of my genius. So I used potting soil as the clay. And then I used wood glue as the binder. And then I just used a piece of wood and smashed it to the bottom of one of these. Uh, I have a several of these ready for mass manufacturing bog roll tubes, uh, toilet paper rolls here. And uh, uh, this is what I got. So I tore it open and found this. It's uh, almost flat and almost circular. And it we I, I'm not saying this is terrible. I'm saying I think we might be able to do better in the next episode and come to find out after I Googled it when it, this was drying, uh, potting soil doesn't have clay in it. It's just all 100% organic matter. <laughs> Very natural. Kind of goes back to what my son said about this. This is quickly becoming the poopy 25 cent poker chip. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs>